then finally they want a one-stop spot for uh, you know great beer and great music. And then uh, this market expects to interact um, with with the products and services that they use. So this kind of went with developing a um, value proposition. Um, so what we're going to do is provide exclusive great tasting uh, craft beer and great music in a very socially charged atmosphere. Um, and then we're going to allow our consumer to interact and engage uh, with our brewery um, through brewery tours and getting to see the inner workings of the brewery process. And then finally, uh, young vibrant locations. Um, we're at 6th Street, the heart of Austin, nightlife and urban culture. So, um, and then finally, we have a female brewmaster, which is which is unparalleled in the industry. They're, um, the craft beer industry has taken off, but uh, there hasn't been a female brewmaster to really go with that trend. So we did extensive Simmons Wanted View uh, target market research, as you can tell. Um, we developed the primary and a target market. Um, related to the craft brewery industry itself, it's experienced tremendous growth over the last few years. Craft brewery sales have grown from $5.7 billion in 2007 to over $12 billion in 2012. Uh, that's about a 110% industry growth in about five years. Um, the overall beer market itself is a $76.2 billion industry. Um, related to the concert and live music industry, um, of the $23.7 billion market, a strong 58.1% market share is related to live concert venues. Um, it's also a very resilient market. It saw positive growth from 2008 to 2013 during the heart of an economic recession. Um, lastly, the bar and nightclub industry, 36.4% of the revenue generated by these industries um, is related to beer and ale sales. This high competition growth made a competitive grid, which allowed us to compare our business to the already existing Austin market. We found out that our top venture create, uh, competitor is Stubbs Barbecue, which allows for some of the same things that we're going for, but not everything. So we will be able to emerge with a new, new product. Um, for the brewery competitor, it's the 512 Brewing Company, but then again, they don't have the venue that we're looking for to make the brewery. At this current point, there are 78 craft breweries in the state of Texas, and Texas is 42nd in number of breweries per capita. So when we price our product, we're going to utilize a hybrid approach between penetrative and uh, pricing approach. Um, we're going to take um, a penetrating pricing approach for our beer by starting with the pricing low, people will be more inclined to try our homemade beers on tap um, as opposed to the other little beers that we'll have via the bottle. But once we gain a bit of notoriety in the Austin market, we'll eventually raise our beer prices to competitive market um, prices. But we'll have competitive prices for everything else, including including our um, brewery tours as well as our um, concerts. So you might be thinking, what are our initial target markets? Well, we want to target University of Austin um, they're young, they're cool, they're impressionable. Um, they live in Austin, which is the live music capital of the country. Um, a 2012 report from the Beer Institute revealed that Texas is ranked number nine in terms of total beer consumed per capita. Um, and the craft brewery industry in Texas alone generated $608 million. Lastly, we're going to market our business via social media, uh, campus and brand ambassadors, word of mouth, and local sponsorships. There are a number of large uh, music festivals in the Austin area, including South by Southwest, Fun, fun, fun fest, um, as well as Austin City Limits. As with any emerging business, there are always critical risks that could emerge. So some of them that we are naming is creatures of habit, where people in the Austin area may potentially want to go to um, a venue that they already are familiar with versus trying something new, so people taking what they know. There's always the dangers of learning how to use equipment, but we will provide extensive training for all of our employees, so that's not an issue. There's always last minute cancellations within groups, so you know, whenever you're dealing with performance groups and scheduling any type of concert or event, there's always the issue that people could cancel and then steal ticket sales and all of that. That's an issue that we have discussed. Also, drinking responsibly and the issue of underage drinkers, as with any college town or any venue, there's always the issue of fake IDs and people illegally drinking underage. So we've come up with an extensive security um, of employees to deal with that, and also the competition in the Austin market. There's always the issue of, you know, like if we thrive in this industry, then, you know, like there could be other people who want to join the bandwagon, so to speak, and um, start a business in one town. So, operations, I got to go to One Barrel Brewing Company. They let me use this awesome image. Um, the four main ingredients for beer is grain, water, hops, and yeast. Um, and then the brewing process follows cleaning, mashing, watering brewing and fermenting, um, fermenting being the key, that really is what makes the beer have its flavor. So as you guys can see, the brewing process follows these four stages, and once it's been <coughs> cleaned, it can be bottled or placed in barrels for further aging. So our revenue model is obviously volume
money in unit base. They're going to require $800,000 to start up. Um, we did some ratio analysis, and our debt to asset ratio is very low, so that enables us to like have um, future security, as well as our liquidity, our working capital. Um, cash, we will have cash on hand to pay for unexpected um, liabilities. And then also, here's a look at our financial projection. We have steady growth two years, three to five, and we uh, assumed a 25% growth rate in year two. First slide, it's a way to monitor the successes and failures, opportunities and threats, and if you have a comprehensive list here, but some of those important ones is that we're located next to the Boston UT campus, which is a huge strength, and opportunity is that four of 10 US 21 year olds in this year. So we did a couple surveys. Here's some quotes from our feedback. Um, we also have a parallel example of a brewery and craft and concert venue. Bell Brand Company in Michigan, they also have a concert venue that features artists like Humphrey Sinky, Jim Cheese Incident, um, and various others. Customer discovery is a very important part of our business. And just as a head. Yeah, so just to wrap up, we really feel that CP is a great, a great opportunity. Um, so music in hand is good. No, music is grand, but the